Hey, what's going on everybody? Week 5 recap here and uh, before we get into too much detail, let's get into a few of the videos of this week. Hey everybody, happy Monday. Uh, about to do my cross training for the day. Gonna hit the bike a little bit. Uh, I'll show you what the setup I'm working with here. Here's the setup of what we got going. We got a road bike hooked up to a machine there and it lets me ride inside so works pretty nice. Probably gonna ride for about 10 miles and call it good and then stretch and roll out. That's all we got for Monday. We're out here doing a bit of meal prepping. Uh, just making some of my lunches for the week. Typically what I'll do is I'll get two pounds of ground beef, mix that with some salt, pepper, um, some onion, garlic, uh, pepper flakes, then we'll get some peppers, we got some red bell peppers, some broccoli, and then we got some sweet potatoes to get some carbs in there too. And then we got some quinoa uh, to also get those carbs, some protein, but just to get some of those nutrient dense foods in there as well. Um, but I, I try to get leaner beef to kind of cut down on some of those fats. But I'll usually do half a cup to three quarters cooked quinoa. Usually divide the pan into quarters and then put that into the meal. And then I'll try to do about a cup of protein as well in the meal. Um, that just to <clears throat> get a good source of protein and to really balance everything out. So this is kind of what it looks like before. I'll give you a little quick after once it's all said and done with. We got the finished product here. We got five days worth of meals that'll all serve as lunch in, in my case, I suppose, but all ready to go. Just need to be warmed up, stirred together, and you have a pretty quick, easy lunch. Usually pair an apple with it, and it makes a really tasty, healthy, nutrient-filled lunch. So we're ready to go for the week. What's going on, everybody? Uh, it's Tuesday. Uh, that means a three-mile run tonight. I uh, just wanted to do a little update for today. Eating some breakfast right now. It's currently noon. <laughs> uh, not ideal, but I uh, just got distracted and, and didn't eat breakfast, so we're eating it now. Anyway, here's a little insight into what I eat for breakfast every day. Usually for breakfast, I eat overnight oats, and that consists of a cup of oats, a cup of milk. Um, I put two tablespoons of strawberry jam in there for a little taste, and then some coconut flakes and um, some sliced almonds as well. It's nothing really all that complicated, just trying to work on getting some complex carbs, some quick sugars, some protein in there with the milk, uh, the oats, and the almonds, um, and just give yourself a good base to start the day. So we're gonna eat that. Had some coffee this morning, had some water. Just trying to drink almost a gallon a day as well. Make sure I keep my body hydrated, keep my, my body working as it should so it can perform at its best. So that's about it. Got a three mile run tonight, gonna do some stretching, gonna do some uh, rolling out beforehand. Hopefully I'll be able to run outside today. It looks pretty nice. So we'll hit that pretty hard and we'll give you an update afterwards. What is going on everybody? Uh, happy Wednesday for me and the, the wifey. Um, just getting ready for my seven mile run this afternoon. I'm gonna run outside because it's warm. Not super sunny, but it's warm. Yeah, not you too much ice else. Cream in the background. <laughs> Aaron's eating ice cream. I'd rather be doing that TBH, but we're gonna go for a run anyways. So we're gonna get to it. Uh, we got little doggy over here who just had eye surgery and has to wear the little cone of shame. It's kind of sad, but anyway, seven mile run. Peace. What up, no. <laughs> <laughs> What? She's over there laughing at me. I'm doing my homework. I <laughs> uh, just oh, capped what? off. Uh, <laughs> uh, now she's making fun of me. Just capped off a seven mile run. Uh, it's Wednesday, week five. Got the run done at 7.13 this week. Uh, it was 55 degrees outside, so we, like I said, we ran it outside. Uh, the run felt good, the weather was fantastic. Probably gonna eat some ice cream after this. Some pancakes and a smoothie. 
post round of champions, let me tell you. <laughs> the rest of the week, got three miles tomorrow, seven miles Saturday, 14 on Sunday. So we got quite a few miles coming up, but just trying to get those extra miles in midweek, uh, eat the right foods, including ice cream. Um, and then we're gonna finish off with some abs and stretching. So, quality day. Was I singing in that? Okay, <laughs> what up everybody? Uh, Friday, doing a three mile run today. Swapped the rest day for um, today and, and Thursday's run yesterday, today, if that made any sense. Just swapped the two. Um, but going for the run outside today, it's pretty nice, a little bit windy, but I'm gonna go do that. Aaron's doing homework. I'm watching March Madness, haven't stopped for the last day and a half, but we're gonna go for a run. So, happy Friday. Hey, dude. Hey, man. Kaya. Kaya. There she is. There she is. There's my little cone. There you are. Oh, you're so pretty. All right. Uh, it's Saturday. We got seven miles to do today. Uh, just took a nap and woke up feeling kind of sluggish, but we're gonna do it. Watching some March Madness, but that's okay because we're gonna go for a run and it's a beautiful day. We're eating dinner anyways, so I figured I'd do a little recap of the run today. Uh, we're eating a very nutritious uh, dinner. Me? Um, Me? Myself. I am eating a nutritious dinner. Um, and in case you were wondering, there is pineapple on this pizza. Um, and if you disagree, you're wrong. You're extremely wrong. And I will fight you until, I don't know, but I'll fight you about it because pizza belongs. Pineapple belongs on pizza. There. I said it. Um, but the seven mile run today went well. I ate out for lunch as well, so we're really killing the game today. But my stomach felt kind of heavy the entire run, had some cramps, worked through it. But other than that, it was a pretty good run. So we got the seven miles in today. I think it ended up being a 7.07 pace. So it was a pretty good run, but it was one of those where you're just kind of working through some of those, some of those uh, cramps and poor eating decision choices. So it is what it is. Um, but tomorrow we have 14. Uh, so we're gonna eat a high carb <laughs> quality meal tonight and prep for that tomorrow. So that's really all. Um, but just wanted to make sure everyone understood that pineapple does belong on pizza. So, until tomorrow. Hey, what up everybody? Uh, didn't do a before video for Sunday's run, uh, so we're just doing one afterwards today. But today was the 14 miler. It, uh, it went really well, actually. I was originally planning on doing uh, 11 mile loop, coming back, taking the gel shot, and then going out for the, the remaining three miles. Um, but as I was going, I felt really good and I just wanted to try to push through to see how my body would feel even without it. Um, so I was able to do all 14 without the gel shot, which was nice and kind of a surprise. But so we did 14, um, did it in seven minutes and 14 second average. Uh, so that was pretty good. I was happy with that. My legs were definitely feeling it by the end of it. Um, but from about mile five to probably 10 or 11. Um, it just felt like I was kind of in the zone, which was which was awesome. Um, <clears throat> the first couple of miles were a bit sluggish. Uh, my stomach felt a little funny, but we worked through that and then the rest of the run was super great. So super happy with that. Super happy to get 14 in. Um, next week is a step down week. So this was the longest and then um, we'll go back to 10 miles next Sunday. So felt good about it. Uh, felt like it was a good strong run. Um, did some recovery today, afterwards did some stretching. I'm trying to start doing ice baths afterwards, which sucked. <laughs> I only did two minutes, not very good, but apparently you're supposed to kind of stagger. All right, Kai, that's enough. Apparently you're supposed to stagger it a little bit, not just fully jump right in, no pun intended. So I only did two minutes, but it was, it was cold. Uh, but we'll see and hopefully it helps. And then I'm gonna roll out my muscles later today try to walk around, work out that lactic acid, and then uh, hit the bike tomorrow for cross training. So that's all for week five. All right, now that we kind of work through some of those videos, uh, just to give a quick recap of, of week five, um, 
Again, this week was uh, the most we've miles we've run yet. Um, it was, I believe, three on Tuesday, seven on Wednesday, three on t Thursday, nothing on Friday, seven on, oh gosh, I can't even remember. Yeah, I was right. It was three, seven, three, seven, 14. Um, 14 being the longest I've ran since probably my last marathon in 2018. Um, the week went pretty good. Uh, I don't think it was as quite as good as the week before. Um, it, referring to week four. Um, but it was a good week. Uh, the runs went pretty well. My midweek runs felt pretty easy. Um, the long run went really well. Um, I ended up doing it with no gel shot, um, which I hadn't intended initially, but was trying to push myself to see how far I could go without it. Um, so I was able to do all 14 without it, which was a surprise to me, and I was glad I was able to do. Um, but that run went well. Um, I was definitely feeling it towards the end. Um, my lungs felt fine. It was more just uh, the strength and stamina of my legs um, that were kind of feeling it. They were pretty tired, and my back, the back of my right hamstring felt a little tight, not in like a injured type of way, just in a really exhausted type of way. Um, and that kind of carried out through this week a little bit. I made sure to stretch a lot afterwards because I knew coming off that big run, it could be easy to um, potentially hurt myself during the runs in week six, but um, I made sure to stretch so that hopefully that, that wouldn't be the case. Eating went okay this week. Um, I ate pretty good for most of the week and then the weekend came around and uh, I ended up getting <laughs> pizza twice, but that, that'll happen. But the rest of the week went pretty good. Uh, stretching went well. Um, still trying to stretch after every single workout and try to roll out at least once a day. Probably wasn't as successful at that this week as I could have been, but my legs are feeling good. Legs are feeling fresh. Looking ahead to the upcoming week, uh, it's looking like I'm going to have to do some runs inside this week because it's going to be uh, rainy and potentially snowy, um, which is a bummer because it's always always tough to go back on the treadmill after um, after outside runs. But it, you know, it is what it is, and we're going to make the most of it and continue to push hard. Little Kaya girl wanted to come make a visit today. Say hi, little Kai. Hi, Bubba. Oh, look at you. She's still in her cone, unfortunately. Um, she's still recovering from eye surgery, and that's going to be about a three-week process. So we're kind of grinding, making it through, uh, trying to make sure her eye heals properly and she can get back to, to being the energetic little dog she is. But still got to wear the cone for a little while longer. Um, but, yeah, so that's going to be a bummer, not being able to run outside as much. But in this upcoming week, we kind of step down again. So it's, it's less mileage this week. My longest run is 10 miles, which I think will be a nice change of pace. Just after week five, my legs feel a little bit sore um, and just can tell that I've been running a lot on them. So it'll be a nice step back um, before we jump up in, in week seven. So um, I'm ready for that. Hopefully I can continue to stretch and keep my legs fresh. Um, but other than that, not, not too eventful of a week. Uh, we're just gonna keep on keep on grinding and hopefully putting on more miles and staying loose and limber as we get to more mileage here and the closer we get to the marathon. Looking even a little bit farther ahead, uh, the month of April is gonna be probably one of the heavier months of running. I guess probably the latter half of April into early May, but that's when some of my longest weeks come into play and I think I have three different 20 mile runs that'll take place. Um, and so I, I guess we're just trying to keep on building up and ramping up to that point. Um, those seem a little bit intimidating after my 14 mile run, but I, I feel pretty confident that if we continue to ramp up each week and hit each run in the mileage I'm supposed to, that my legs will start to hopefully adjust to those to that amount of mileage and then be ready when that time comes to hit those 20 milers. So it's different than my last training plan. My last one, I think I ran 20 miles once, um, but this one's a little bit more aggressive as far as the amount of mileage goes. So we'll do 20 miles three different times and I'm gonna try to do 22 miles one of the times. And I, some people don't, don't like to do that as much uh, because it can potentially risk injury before the race. Um, 
but I, I just know in my previous two marathons, I hit that like 20, mile 20 mark and mile, basically mile 20, 21, 22, I hit my wall, um, meaning that I hit that point in my body and mind and everything was just so mentally exhausted that I just was struggling to get through the last six miles. Um, so I'm hoping that pushing a little farther in the training, doing 22 miles will kind of help me jump over that roadblock um, and that, that barrier that I was hitting in those runs. So I, I don't know, it'll be my first time trying it. So I'm hoping that makes a difference um, in my overall performance in the race, but I guess only time will tell. Thank you all for tuning into the vlog. Um, I appreciate it. I know it's not the highest quality vlog, but I do appreciate you keeping up and, and supporting it. So Kai says hello again, and you can't see it, but hello Cohen. Uh, and then we'll keep on hitting the runs hard this week and exercises, and uh, we'll see you all again next week. Peace.